Steve, this week we're all wondering about a bizarre plot uh, that the Iranians allegedly hatched to assassinate um, the Saudi ambassador of the United States, Adil al-Jaber. Uh, allegedly, Iran enlisted Mexican drug uh, traffickers, uh, a group called Los Zetas, uh, to carry out the act. Does this raise greater alarm about Iranian activities in the Americas, and does it also raise more alarm about the state of Mexican security? Well, I think it uh, certainly points out that uh, Iran is still active in the Americas. To what extent um, this is indicative of, of what's really going on, it's very hard to tell because it looks like it's either amateur hour or it's a, a change in, in the modus operandi of, of Iran and its uh, 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 clandestine operations in, in the Americas. Who is Los Zetas and, and, and are they capable of carrying out such an assassination here in Washington? Los Zetas is a, uh, a violent uh, drug cartel in Mexico. It consists mainly of people that uh, have left uh, Mexico's security forces and then went into the trafficking business and, and compete against some of the other violent cartels uh, in that country. And they have reach, uh, as do uh, all of the cartels now, into almost every city uh, throughout major city throughout the Americas. So they do pose a risk, but they pose a different kind of a risk, a drug trafficking risk and uh, an attendant violence uh, risk to people that get caught in the crossfire of, of some of their crimes. But they're not necessarily known for conducting high-risk uh, operations to assassinate diplomats or to uh, conduct bombings and things of this nature. You have a report coming out soon looking at Iran's relationship, uh, various relationships in the Americas. How concerned should we be about their reach and uh, their influence in this hemisphere? Well, we may not learn very much from this particular incident, or we could end up uh, learning quite a bit uh, about perhaps a change in, in uh, operations and in ways that uh, uh, Iran is going about things. Uh, it could be a total feint. We don't know that just yet. But I think there is some concern over a long period of time, ever since the Iranian Revolution and the uh, break between in relations between Iran and the United States, there have been periods of uh, uh, rapprochement and periods in, in which relations have gotten tense. And it appears that we're in one of those uh, periods where relations are getting uh, tense again. And Secretary Clinton said they actually crossed a, 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 a serious line here. If it's true what uh, is being alleged, uh, if that's true, then, then they have. Um, and the question is, uh, what else have they been doing in the hemisphere uh, during this period of time that uh, uh, there has been an estrangement between our two countries? And it's interesting to note that uh, Iran has become interested in the Americas because of really uh, three things. First of all, it uh, uh, offers an opportunity to uh, poke Uncle Sam in the eye uh, in an area which is uh, essentially uh, the, the region in, in which the United States is located, uh, which is, you know, close to our shores. The other thing is that it uh, offers an opportunity with some of our um, uh, some countries that are willing to do business with Iran like Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, Nicaragua um, and some countries in the in the Caribbean it offers an, an opportunity for them to evade some of the sanctions that the United Nations and the United States have uh, placed on their banking and also dealings with their petroleum and uh, uh, nuclear uh, industries and the other thing is that it offers an opportunity for them to conduct public diplomacy or a kind of theocratic uh, diplomacy to do an outreach uh, uh, through some of the clerics. And you have to understand that it is a th theocracy, that um, very much Shia Islam is, is part of the, the, the scheme of government in Iran, and that uh, in conducting an outreach that uh, uh, tries to um, explain Shiism, to um, evangelize it, to, if, if it's possible to use that term, um, is one way that uh, it can begin to make friends and converts in our hemisphere. And that's important in 
uh, broadening the base of support that it may have in, in certain countries in the region. Do you think this incident changes uh, the debate about border security in the United States? Does it make it more necessary to secure our border with Mexico? Well, because the Zetas weren't really involved in this, it, it doesn't really change things that much. But border security always has been important. It's going to remain an important question that uh, uh, the United States has to get right. But it has to get it right in a, in, a, in a certain way. We can't live isolated from other countries, and particularly countries that uh, are trade partners with us in, in this hemisphere and, and other parts of the world. So we have to do it in a smart way, which uh, means uh, using technology uh, to avoid uh, draconian measures that would cut off trade, cut off uh, intercourse that we have with other peoples uh, in the world and, and uh, the friendships that we've developed. Steve Johnson, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.